So we're going to try a ring opening here. So I have you a left, right, left, right form of sugar. Let's see, that would look like this. C-H-O, left, right, left, right, C-H-2-O-H. And we're going to do a ring opening on this. So we have our H3O+. Plus. We'll do this acid catalyzed. So we're going to use our lone pair. We're going to attack this hydrogen and give a pair back to there. We're going to end up with a protonated. I'm not going to show all the stuff on it, but we'll put it back at the end. And the one I do need to show here is the hemiacetal oxygen. So we know this is a hemiacetal because we have a ether on this side, a OR, and we have a hydroxyl group here bound to the same carbon, which means that we have a hemiacetal. Hemiacetals are protected forms of carbonyls, and we can actually see that this is a carbonyl when we start to do the arrow pushes here. So what we need, this is acid catalyzed, we are going to open this ring by having a pair come down from oxygen here, and back onto oxygen here to solve the positive charge problem. So that's going to leave us with an OH and an opened ring, but now we have a protonated carbonyl, which is a little bit of a problem. So we can actually try by and redraw it here. And oh heck, I'll just draw all this stuff on it here. It's left, right. left, right, and we can figure this out by using our deprotonated water from the beginning to come back and grab that hydrogen, and then we end up with our finished deprotonated open ring, reducing sugar here. So this will be able to undergo lots more chemistry because that aldehyde is there than we would see otherwise. So that's how we open our rings.